different from all others. Curtsy coronavirus, COVID-19. Notwithstanding, it has been uh, celebrated all over the country with even greater determination and greater enthusiasm. The Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi unfolded the flag for the seventh time and addressed the great nation from Redford ramparts with equal enthusiasm and mastery over his oratory skills. He is undoubtedly holds commands in the uh, national language and surely one of the best orators among his contemporaries. You would have heard him many times earlier on various occasions starting from the election campaigning uh, and from the premises of the Red Fort. My friend, let's take this occasion of Independence Day and let's all of us be proud of, firstly, of the uh, uh, soldiers who are, and remember them, who are protecting us in uniform, guarding our borders, and from making sure that we are undisturbed and we have a peaceful sleep while we, uh, they thought any aggression, any external aggression, they have uh, stood the test of time and beyond reasonable doubt, the truest servant of this my beloved country god bless them the honorable prime minister has declared far too many things for the people of india he said national digital digitization mission will be launched in thousand uh, days or something each the six lakhs villages of the country will be digitally connected he once again raises this vocal to local call he gives a call for uh, the Atma Nirbhar Bharat, self-sufficient India. And he also said this, our countrymen has fought pretty well fighting and we will definitely have will be coming up victorious against this dreaded disease or the pandemic coronavirus. We will, uh, he also said a nice, there's so far too many things, what I remember I'm telling you, he said the NCC, National Carrot Corps will be extended to border areas. He also said that he'll be setting up a committee shortly that that will fix up the minimum age for marrying daughters. Wonderful. It sounds so good. And I pray God Almighty that whatever is in the interest of the nation, then the people of this nation must come true. My friend, we have shown the world what happened. He also said in a similar fervor, what I am repeating, we have shown the world what happens in the dark and our armed forces are, are quite capable of not only protecting our borders but also thwarting any external aggression or attack from outside. Pierre Prime Minister expressed desire that Kashmir must have elections and they should have their own elected leaders. Very good thought. But my friend, Kashmir has uh, uh, soared our relations ever since we became independent, independent nations. Much blood and vast amount of money has been wasted trying to resolve, uh, settle the damn issue by force. I feel that we have to go beyond reiterating our, res our uh, respective perceptions at nauseam and reach uh, a solution which is acceptable to the uh, three parties involved. The people, first the people of the Kashmir, India and Pakistan. So that Pakistan stop creating problems and sending its militants or the anti-trained uh, uh, militants to create chaos across the line, the border, and even inside. 
my friend on this auspicious occasion, despite all these regular problems, I wish to appeal my Prime Minister that most importantly I feel that Mr. Prime Minister, please make family planning compulsory in my country. Make felling of trees, cutting of trees, and, any, uh, uh, and fouling the environment as a, as a crime punishable, punishable by heavy fines and imprisonment. Otherwise, we all will be guilty of letting our nations down. Let all of us on this auspicious occasion of the 74th Independence Day once again take a pledge and say, Yehi Jinoon, Yehi Yekhwab Mera Hai. Waha Chirag Jala Doon Jaha Adhera Hai. I have one and only one dream or desire. I must light a lamp wherever there is darkness. Happy Independence Day. Thank you very much.